So let's start this section off with a, a nice and easy topic, the Git docs. Yes, uh, this is a very funny joke because these are pictures of doctors, but we're not actually talking about doctors, we're talking about the Git documentation. Can you believe how funny that is? So dumb jokes aside, we're talking about the Git documentation, which you may want to reference at some point if you have questions or you want to learn more about one of the commands that I'm showing you. So the docs are accessible at git-scm.com. I never remember that. I just Google Git, and then I end up on this web page. And then we want to go to documentation pretty much every time. That's where I go. Uh, you know, I'm not going to about. I don't need to see the advantages of Git to compare it to something else. I'm already using it. I just want the docs. Now, there are a couple of sections here, uh, and most of the time I end up looking at the reference manual. Occasionally, this book called Pro Git, pretty much never the videos. So the reference manual, we'll start there, uh, is exactly what it says. It's a reference manual to all the Git commands and main topics. It is not ordered. Uh, it's not a step-by-step -step guide. It's just a reference. So for example, uh, we've been using Git commit. If I want to learn more about Git commit, I can click on this. I'll zoom in. It tells us roughly what it does, record changes to the repository. Here's a, a more detailed description. But then as I scroll down, this is what I end up looking at occasionally on the docs, all of these options. So this is one command, git commit. And we've used one option, which is dash M, you could find that on here somewhere, dash M, uh, which is short for dash dash message. Use the given message as the commit message. Uh, we already know that, hopefully you know how to do that. Uh, but here is where we would find that information. So there are lots of options for every single one of the Git commands I've shown you, and it's honestly overwhelming. Uh, I use very few of them, but there are a lot available. So if you ever have questions about them, if you see somebody use a command, git commit, and then the dash Z flag, and you have no idea what that is, you can read about it here. Also, if we keep scrolling down, we will find examples. So there are some examples that show you know, how to use git commit in this example, uh, but on you know, another page, if we're looking at git log, there will be examples for git log, or for some of the more advanced commands, that can be helpful. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's discussion down at the bottom. Basically, for every git command, we, we deal with this really thorough, but also intimidating set of documentation. So if you are looking for something uh, more educational or more sort of teachy, you can go to the book. And this is grouped into topics that are ordered and it explains things. So for example, we haven't yet covered branching, but if you wanted to learn more about branching, or if my explanation is insufficient, once you get to that section, you can read more and have diagrams and sort of step-by-step -step explanation here. And it's pretty well, I shouldn't say pretty, it's very well written, uh, it's a well done book, and it is a nice antidote to the dry and, uh, you know, purely reference manual documentation. The book really does have a, a clear path through it. So I don't necessarily recommend reading the entire book, but I mean, if I come here occasionally when I have questions about things, some commands that I haven't used in a while, uh, or configuring things, the, the book is very helpful to explain them. And then if you just have a one-off question about what is that flag, or is there a way to do X with the git log command, you can go read about it on the reference manual. Just do your best to stay sane while reading these docs. There's so many options, so many flags for every single command. All right, so that's how we get to the docs, git-scm.com, documentation, reference manual, or book.